Hi, Cappy. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Make sure you all focus for the roles. Take what resonates. Leave it doesn't fit for your situation. Thank you guys for the love, the support, the donations. Um, sending you all peace, love, light, and happiness. Okay, on your journey. All right. Make sure you guys check out the description box down below. More information about me is going to be down there. And please be aware of the fake pages on here and on any other social media platforms. Okay, let's tap in. Happy. Let's see what's going on with you all. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, ascended masters, gods and goddesses. Please return any spell work, any dark magic that is sent to harm the collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. What's going on here for Kathy? What's going on for Kathy? So we have choices, having options. The ball is in someone's court time to be decisive. Okay. Playing games. <laughs> Someone doesn't know how to stop playing games, messing around, immature, doesn't want to grow up. Off the grid, being cooped up in their room, not socializing, being a hermit, not on social media. And then we have moocher. <laughs> Someone who survives off another's income, one who even if they have their own money will use someone else's first. Bottom of the deck is toxic ways. Bad habits, addictions, can't stay away from harmful substances. Mm. So, Cappy, I feel like somebody's like, because I feel like for some of you, or most of you, you've already made a decision. You could be off the grid. You're not on social media. You're taking a social media break. You're just living your best life not being seen or anything like that like that's where the peace is at anyways <laughs> but they could be having to make some sort of decision and they can't even but i feel like they should have made one a long time ago so now i feel like they're whoever this is they're even more confused they had you as some sort of option or now you have them as some sort of option i feel like you're turning the other cheek and you're going the other way because it's like it's like the shoe is on the other foot yeah, the ball is in someone's court. Now you have the option to choose whether if you you know whether or not you want to deal with this person or not. Okay, some of y'all are choosing not to. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Libra was up there with Justice, Capricorn, another Capricorn. Or you could be cross watching for a Capricorn. Hmm, let's see. What's choices? Which choice is here? Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Which choice is with the Wheel of Fortune? <laughs> the Fool in Reverse. This Fool came out in reverse for Libra. And now, who was, who was before that? Aries, I think. Yeah. Um, You got Aquarius here, Sagittarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Mm, yeah, I feel like the decision is being made for somebody. Somebody here is very reckless. So there are some big changes here. I feel like things are turning in your favor. For some of you guys, you're going to have to make a decision because somebody could be trying to come towards you and they're nothing but a distraction. Or somebody here made a choice to go towards some sort of distraction that was sent out for them. And it changed the whole course of a whole connection or your path or their path or however the situation is going. Somebody's choices affected y'all's like future major what's the will of fortune yeah the sun and the five of wands we got leo here strong someone gonna have a leo saturn so something has been exposed or something is going to be exposed that's going to change it like turn something the the wheel here is turning i feel like somebody here knows that you <clears throat> you have like there's competition for you and there's people that want to be in your energy, people that want to be around you, people that you make happy, people that make you happy. I feel like things are changing just for sure. But something could be being exposed about some sort of a uh, competition or some sort of fight that happened, a battle or whatever. Somebody here had options and I feel like they put you in competition with somebody. Now that I feel like it's out and you chose to just 
kind of like move away from the situation and still be positive and optimistic and happy. Spirit is turning things in your favor. Somebody here likes drama or they like people to fight over them or whatever. And I feel like you're not going to do that. So what's the fool in reverse? Yeah, Ace of Cups in reverse. Yeah, now somebody trying to distract you from new love. What's the fool in reverse, child, with the Ace of Cups? Or somebody distracted this person from a love offer coming from you. Okay. Yeah, the Hermit. Virgo energy, the Hermit in reverse. <laughs> yeah, this Hermit talks about being hella reclusive, hella closed off. It could also talk about being stuck or paralyzed in fear. Somebody that's refusing to not do the work. But I feel like this is you, Ace of Cubs, with the Hermit in reverse. You're coming out of Hermit mode. There, There's a distraction here. This could be a new love. I feel like a distraction that's moving you away from whatever drama this was. <laughs> I feel like it's a good distraction. Okay. Some of you guys are going to end up pregnant, okay, because... You're being reckless here with your sex life, okay? With somebody that you're dealing with, possibly. You guys are gonna possibly end up pregnant because maybe you're having unprotected sex with someone that you like. Okay, I mean, shit, I'm minding my business, but I'm just saying, that's what I picked up. I put the full in reverse with the, in the Ace of Cups. Okay. What's, let's see, what's the Ace of Cups right here? Yeah, Two of Cups, I'm telling you. What's the Ace of Cups, Two of Cups? I'm gonna have a Cancer Venus, yeah, Page of Swords. <laughs> mm, yeah, Two of Wands, Knight of Cups. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're, you're gonna be dating somebody, Capricorn, or you are. There's love here between you and someone. And I feel like someone else is watching you. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. They could be watching you. They know that your attention is off of them because you are living your life like it's golden. <laughs> With somebody else there's a new love here or it's coming in so this person is spying they're trying to see how they can distract you from this person bitch you cannot but they could be trying to come in to distract you all right <clears throat> whoever if this person come back in now they'll just be a distraction to whatever this is you need to pay attention to that they're just a fucking mess they play a lot of mind games this person play a lot of fucking mind games here. They could be trying to use the fact, oh, I love you. You know, I care about you. Blah, 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 blah. Making up excuses for why they're not doing what they need to be doing. That's a fucking, uh, that shit ain't real. What's the harmony in reverse, child? I'm so sick of that energy. It's like, I'm so for real. Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. Somebody's refusing to do the inner work, like I said. Some of y'all, the Ace of Swords, Nine of Cups, Ace of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, some of y'all are going into a partnership. You're not going to be single anymore. You're going to have help. Who I got that for? Yesterday. <laughs> I think Leo. I think so. Oh, I, well, no, I did Leo today. I think... Um, I don't know, <laughs> but maybe it was Virgo. I don't know, man. So we're gonna have a Virgo Venus, but that nine of, nine of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you're coming out of hermit mode and you're dating. You're exploring your options. I feel like you found one, but this could be this person where they're they're refusing to do the inner work and heal their codependency issues. Okay, this person is, they could definitely be a moocher, a gold digger, an opportunist. Okay, for some of you, watch out for new love that's like that. But I don't really feel like that's a new person. I feel like this is old. Somebody here from your past that now is like, they they look at you. They're looking at you because you're moving on or they can feel you energetically moving forward. Yeah, yeah. you have the option now to end up leaving somebody ass out in the cold. Two of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, the Chariot. I feel like it's been challenging to do so, but you're doing it. Yeah, someone is codependent and they're not doing shit about it. They're not doing any kind of work. So they're going to try to distract you or they're trying to like play little mind games or whatever to distract you from somebody that you're dealing with. They're a distraction, child. They're a distraction. Or this person was already distracted and now you're moving on. You have a, a distraction here that's going to be good for you. It's going to turn into something else. Yeah. Ten of Pentacles, Three of Swords, Eight of Swords, the Justice. 
and the damn judgment and the eight of cups somebody here could be stuck or trapped in some sort of marriage somebody could also be dealing with some sort of court situation involving a lot of money okay i'm hearing like insurance fraud <laughs> or somebody's a scammer they could be with some sort of con artist a scam artist a gold digger or they are, they are the gold digger child whatever what's playing games here <laughs> Yeah, Nine of Cups. While they sitting over there playing, you're going to be sitting in the Nine of Cups energy, getting your wishes fulfilled, you know, receiving rewards and recognition. This is prosperity, wealth, abundance. Okay, definitely having a good time. Some of y'all are definitely engaging in sexual activity. The the Two of Cups, the Sun right there, the, the Ace of Cups, and the um, Nine of Cups, something about conception and pregnancy, okay? Or they could have got somebody else fucking pregnant. I don't know. <laughs> but we got Pisces, Jupiter. What's playing games with the Nine of Cups? Yeah, Page of Wands. I'm telling you, Ace of Pentacles. Mm. This person is very self-absorbed, though. Excuse me, y'all. This person is very self-absorbed. Ciao, bye. I, I don't. I don't like them. I'm. I'm ready to get off. <laughs> Let me hurry up and get through this. What's the nine of cups? Cause this energy is really pathetic. Yeah, three of cups. Uh, what's the nine of cups? Three of cups. Yeah. Whoever this is, they definitely want their cake and eat it too. Who I got that for? Virgo. The chariot and the ten of cups. For some of you, this is you celebrating. This is you being fulfilled and happy, being content with where you're at and what you're doing. Some of y'all are being celebrated. You're moving on. You could be making new friends, meeting new people, okay? Some of y'all are celebrating some sort of pregnancy or you will be. Okay, Ten of Cups, Three of Cups, Nine of Cups. The Chariot is like moving forward, determination, willpower, drive, okay, ambition, violence here between feminine and masculine within you for sure but you could be going into some sort of partnership yeah some of y'all are definitely having a lot of good sex okay whoever you are <laughs> whoever you are honey something is hot and spicy you are being fulfilled you whatever this is is a good distraction and it's growing too this person here they handled you recklessly now they're gonna be trying to come back in with they stupid ass absolutely the fuck not absolutely not all guarded, still defensive, and yeah, look, child, look, the Empress, the Emperor. What was this that fell? Oh, it didn't quite fall. Okay, Seven of Swords came out in reverse. Yeah, your consciousness is definitely kicking in, or somebody could want to bring some sort of confession to you with the Seven of Swords in reverse, or um, whatever. But I feel like you don't give a fuck. But the Empress and the Emperor. The Three of Pentacles and the world is here. So I feel like there's a, there's another partnership coming in. We got Aries, Taurus, Libra, Capricorn, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. Definitely a nice partnership coming in where you and this person are going to be able to work together, build together. Oh, I put her damn vagina in the camera. I keep forgetting this hoe is naked. Damn. And the world. Child, I'm glad I had her covered up. <laughs> But yeah, y'all get the gist of what I'm saying, though. Something is nice. I feel like this is a new, exciting thing that you're hopping into, whether it be a project or I feel like it's a relationship. While they sitting up here playing games, you have moved on. You've already made your decision, I feel like, in silence. <laughs> like, you haven't even said two words to this person. All they can do is sit and watch you here. What's the page of swords? I mean, page of wands. Yes, eight of wands. The Eight of Wands. Let's see. What's the page of, page of Wands? Eight of Wands. Because that's communication. Or some of you guys are traveling, moving around. Yeah. Mm, the Queen of Swords in reverse. I feel like you don't have too many nice words to say to this person if they reach out to you on some fuck shit. I don't think it's going to be too pretty. But um, this is who they... For, for some of you, this is who this person is playing games with. Somebody that's bitter, jealous manipulative a liar they're gossiping and this person here keeps coming back towards you because for i don't even feel like they're telling you the truth about this queen of swords in reverse they want to flirt and do all this other shit but they don't want to tell you the truth about this bitch that they have over here that's what's crazy so they could be coming towards you 
Somebody here, this Queen of Swords in Reverse gave this person some bad advice. <laughs> okay. Who is Queen of Swords in Reverse, man? Who is this Queen of Swords in Reverse? Mm, the Death Card in Reverse. Somebody that won't change their ways. Scorpio. It's Queen of Swords in Reverse. Death Card in Reverse. Or somebody that won't let they ask, though. Yeah, Ace of Wands. For some of you, make sure you're practicing forgiveness, okay? Make sure you're not being bitter, all right, or holding on to, like, resentment or pain from dealing with this person. But I feel like this is who they had some sort of new passion to begin with, or this is who they having sex with, for some of you. Mm. This Queen of Swords lied to this person. Whatever they're saying to this person... It's some bullshit, clearly. I feel like it's because they don't want to release this person that's watching you and your new relationship or whatever you got going on or trying to see if you're even in one. This person here, I don't I don't like them very much. That Ace of Wands, Aries Leo Sag. Somebody got with a bitter ass hoe. And now I feel like they're gonna to try to communicate with you. They're definitely gonna be trying to come in and you're gonna probably end up pregnant. And moving on, that's not for everybody. Don't beat me up in the comments, but I'm saying, I feel like you're happily, there's a destined partnership, a destined soulmate here. For some of you, I'm not really getting reconciliation. I'm getting more so reconciliation with a past life person. Somebody that's going to come into your life and change it for the better. I'm not, I'm not talking about somebody that you've met on the 3D plane that's doing this bullshit. I'm definitely not getting that. I feel like because this person refused to release this queen of swords in reverse or refused to change their ways and heal from whoever this is that's bitter they kept everything really um sexual with you and now i feel like you're you're just you're tired of it and so you're moving forward in a, another direction something is just an ongoing battle with this 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 queen of swords in reverse is refusing to let this person go like that's that's the problem that you're gonna have here just period. A lot of fertility, Capricorn. A lot of fucking fertility. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm, child. Some of y'all getting ready to high priestess, queen of cups, the queen of wands, and the lovers. <laughs> the queen of pentacles is a mother too. This knight of wands, that's sex too. That's like... Three of Pentacles is teamwork, though, that's working together. I feel like this is who you turned your back on, though. This Queen of Pentacles is you grounded your energy. That's you, Capricorn. You could have moved at a distance from this person. This person has to travel to see you. But I feel like they're in and out of your life. And I feel like you know that, so you're moving on. You don't... Know, this person here, it's the audacity for me. Yeah, Four of Cups. The Everything is Fine card, the Moon, the Six of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Mm-mm. What is this off the grid here? Something beautiful is coming in. Yeah, the star <laughs> and the king of wands. Yeah, child. Look, I feel like that's your masculine. I don't know. That's somebody new. Yeah, look. And y'all not letting each other go either. The empress, the emperor, and the four of pentacles and the ace of pentacles. This masculine, whoever this is, I feel like they're rather new. This your match too, uh, copy. <laughs> so this person could be saving their money. They're trying to build for like a solid foundation because they could have some sort of like a lot of responsibilities or obligations too. They could be needing help right now, but I feel like, I don't know. That's your person. Y'all gonna be able to work together and build and do what y'all gotta do. That, that's what I'm saying. Like something is gonna take off. It's, it's gonna take off between you and somebody else because this person is not it for sure. King of Wands, that's Leo energy. We got the star Aquarius. So yeah, I feel like you're off the grid. You're healing, you're growing. Some of y'all do have an online presence, but I feel like you're enjoying your time offline. Like you don't, you like to play the background here. You don't want to be seen, heard, none of that shit. Two of Wands, the the, the Knight of Cups, the Temperance and the, the Hierophant. Mm -mm. Some of y'all are definitely going into a spiritual union. Like you're dealing with a soulmate energy, definitely 
some sort of um, collaboration or a partnership coming in that's going to lead to a higher level of commitment. Child, what's up? Uh, what's the King of Wands? The Two of Swords. What's the King of Wands? Two of Swords. Three of Pentacles. And the Four of Swords. <laughs> Yeah, while somebody's sitting back, contemplating, thinking. Let me see. Someone could have a Libra, Jupiter, Capricorn, Mars, Libra, Moon. So, okay, let me see. What's the Three of Pentacles spirit? Ten of Pentacles. Give me more on the Three of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Okay, yeah. I was getting that. So whoever this King of Wands is, right? You done fell off the grid copy and you done found somebody, okay? They're definitely your match, for sure. I feel like with collaboration and teamwork and hard work, I feel like you and this person are definitely going to build something nice, okay? I feel like there's some sort of wealth, prosperity, this person here could have some sort of tough decisions to make in their life, but I see a positive outcome. Okay, they could be kind of like stressed right now or a lot, just a lot to think about. But with your help, with y'all's teamwork, yeah, Page of Pentacles, Six of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. Something is going to turn out really nice. Okay, when y'all put y'all heads together, y'all, if y'all are willing and open to learning from each other, growing with each other, building a solid foundation with each other, that, that's, that's something here is going to grow. And I feel like that's where your focus is. Four of Swords. That's like resting. It's kind of like thinking. What's the Four of Swords? Let me see. What's the Four of Swords? Okay, yeah, Six of Cups. I'm telling you, this is a past life soulmate. Some of y'all, this is a past life soulmate coming in. I feel like they're rather new. Mm. Six of Cups, definitely your inner child. Something is very, I feel like you're very much so at peace. But there's some sort of like stagnancy here. It could be between you and somebody new. There's some sort of stagnancy here. Yeah, Knight of Cups, the Hierophant again, the Magician. It could be they got kids or something from their past could be like in the way, kind of. This could be some sort of inner child healing they need to do. But since this is like a counterpart of yours, a soulmate, they're going to, y'all are going to grow together. What's the three? What's the two of uh, uh, swords? Yeah, seven of cups in reverse. <clears throat> Someone gonna have a Scorpio Venus. So that's like a reality check, a wake up call. I feel like whoever this is, when you came into their life, they something transformed like immediately. It's whatever this is, kick this person into gear. <laughs> Meeting you, I guess. Yeah, Ace of Swords. It brought some sort of clarity to them. That that's gonna be the difference between them and whoever the fuck this is that keep playing these games. While they're doing that, you're gonna be over here doing this, working with your actual partner. So This could be you going through some sort of awakening. I feel like you're just observing. You're looking at this person's actions and how they maneuver to see if it's worth like investing into or not, or, or if if you're if if they're worth like um working with and helping or whatever. Yeah. Hmm. What's the star? I feel like you're, yeah, the world. It's something I do have an online presence, I'm telling you. This is definitely a new beginning that's going to turn out in your favor. Because this cycle over here with this shit is closed. This person is definitely a visionary. They're, they're um, a leader, a provider, a protector. They're very passionate about what they're, what they're doing. For some of you, this person is definitely meant to be some sort of star like you are. They have a very special calling over their life. For sure. Hmm. 
And with y'all, with your help, they're going to be able to do whatever this is. Because they're going to work with you too. I mean, you're not going to be the only one giving to the situation. This new, this this new beginning is positive. It's really positive. Like I don't, I don't know. I feel good energy from that. Give me more. What's this two of swords and seven of cups in reverse? Yeah, the strength card, Leo energy, overcoming obstacles. Yeah, growth, expansion, king and queen of pentacles. Six of Pentacles and the damn Three of Wands. Something is going to grow and expand. This could be you even getting like married. Or this could be you and this person could be going into business together. Moving, traveling the world. <laughs> like, I don't know. But money is getting ready to be looking really good for y'all too. I feel like your spirit team is helping you to move through any fear or anxiety you have around this because it could be starting off like slow and like weird because this person could be coming into your life with a little bit of issue but you're going to see change drastically over time okay as long as you stay optimistic this person they it's because of their actions <laughs> they're going to take action to change shit they're not going to be sitting here and playing little stupid ass games like this other person Yeah, I feel like you're something is kicking in for you too. Like you're realizing something. You could have to make a choice between two, but I feel like um you're gonna go ahead and go with this person because something's gonna be made clear to you about someone's pride and their ego and all that. Like somebody here decided to keep you in the dark about some shit that they did. I feel like they chose something superficial because of their pride and their ego. That's that other option over here. I feel like this other one is this new person or whatever the fuck this is coming in. Someone is very superficial. Mm. Anywho, or they're realizing that the person that they were with, this new person in their past is superficial. They're, they're waking up to this and realizing that they need the strength and the courage to move past their ass. So that way they can get this new beginning with you. So they're taking action to do it. That's going to that's gonna be the difference. I'm telling you, whatever hiccup or problem that they got in their life, they ain't going to be sitting back playing these stupid games. Okay, what's Moocher? Yeah. Yeah, Nine of Swords in reverse. Gemini. Uh, Mars. What's Moocher here with the Nine of Swords in reverse? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. <clears throat> So there's definitely a new beginning. This is like a stability, security, a solid foundation being built. You're coming out of some sort of anxiety or stress or worry about something, or this is you and this new person. Okay, what's this Ace of Pentacles? Some of y'all could be getting a new home, a new car, start of a new business. Okay, everything is fine in reverse. What's the Ace of Pentacles? Is that everything is fine in reverse? The King of Pentacles. Mm. Yeah, Emperor, Knight of Pentacles, and the the Temperance. Something here needs to be done in moderation. And it needs patience. It's developing over time. Whoever this Emperor is. Now, this could be you as the Emperor. Your business is flourishing or whatever the case. It could be a Sagittarius, Aries, Virgo. Or this is them, the, your Divine Masculine. Yeah, it's something. Who this King of Pentacles right here? Three of Swords in reverse. Who this King of Pentacles? Three of Swords in reverse. Six of Swords in reverse. Aquarius, Mercury, Libra, Saturn. Somebody is a provider and protector of a household. This could be your new person or this could be somebody from the past. I don't know. And you maybe feel like everything is not okay or everything is not fine. I'm getting like an anxiety or panicking kind of like energy with this. But I feel like there's there's something that's going to lift your mood or lift your spirits. Okay. Six of swords in reverse. 
this could be this person here standing their ground to gain more like stability in their life okay i, feel, I don't know why i feel like that's new but it could be you you know you got towards somewhere in your chart whatever but somebody is standing their ground and they're doing the healing work because they're realizing that everything is not fine everything is not okay they need a change of scenery they need their own shit okay whoever they're with could be a moocher and want to use this person's finances first i feel like this person is tired of that shit so they're getting this their self themselves grounded and stable so that way they can um build something solid what's the nine of swords in reverse i'm getting like two separate energies it's new and then old over here what's the nine of swords in reverse and this new person could have somebody around them oh, damn nine of swords in reverse with the devil capricorn energy somebody's being haunted someone is definitely being haunted for sure this could be somebody's mind <clears throat> Some, somebody's mental is fucked up here could be another capricorn what's the nine of swords in reverse with the devil two of pentacles yeah somebody's being haunted because they're juggling or they were juggling you <laughs> that's why or they know they're getting ready to lose some fucking money. Hmm. <laughs> Child. Somebody here could be determined to reconcile with you. Whoever this is from your past that didn't give you shit in the first damn place. They could be like determined to reconcile with you here. But I feel like this person, they, they already got a family somewhere. They already chose wrong. I'm so sick of seeing these fucking people, bro. Like, if you chose wrong or if you chose a certain path, stay over there. Don't fucking get upset and sad now. Like, what the fuck? You should have thought about that before you chose what the fuck you chose. People be tripping for real. Somebody having a wake up call. I feel like it's this new masculine of yours, Kathy. They're going through an awakening of damn cells and realizing the shit that they're in or the person that they're dealing with, they're a moocher <laughs> and using them for their finances. So this situation could like kind of mirror this past person situation, except they're doing the actual work to move themselves away from it. And it's happening, you know, <clears throat> in good speed and good timing. Yeah, look, rose, romance, and feminine. Ooh. Wishes. Yeah, this is what it is. Yeah, witch healer. Yeah. Let's see. I want to pull this one because it's definitely here. Wishes. Feminine, lady, goddess. Yeah, candles, magic. You're manifesting love here. Something about love, compassion. You're very passionate about it with the fire energy. It could be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. Strong Sag and Leo, maybe. It could be Aries, too. Or you got that in your chart somewhere. But I'm definitely getting, yeah, stability, staff. Some of y'all going to end up pregnant, Capricorn. You're going to end up pregnant. Or um, this is you and this person creating a new project. I don't know, but they're going to ignite some sort of fire and passion within you, honey. You're going to be fucking... I don't know. <laughs> I feel a really good energy from that, though. Cori coriander, immortality, mugwort, intuition, witch hazel, sensitivity. Hmm, so you're very sensitive to the energy right now. Okay. Abundance. Yeah, right under romance, y'all. I'm telling you, Bailey's abundance. Ooh wee, Astara, incubation. Look, child, I'm telling you, if you're wishing for a pregnancy, it's here. Something is is manifesting. Some of y'all are pregnant. I got that. Uh, you know your Cancer's opposite sign, so maybe go watch Cancer too. Or you're just is just pregnant with new ideas. I don't know. Blackberry invasive. Oh, uh eucalyptus eucalyptus breathe and hemp expansion i pulled that out with this too lady god is feminine at the bottom your intuition with witch hazel and sensitivity and expansion is something is growing 
I mean, expanding your intuition is amplifying or something like that. Some of y'all, your first pregnancy symptom, if you're going to end up pregnant, it could be like your sensitivity to like smell or taste or something like that. Let's read romance here, Rose. Let's see. That's the one I pulled first. I want to read that because it's definitely here. Love is in the air. <laughs> it says red is for love, pink for romance, petals swirl and join in the dance. To bring about romance, kisses, and laughter, and be of your heart happily ever after. Your ten of cups is here. The happily ever after is here. <laughs> this magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. A deep desire to be swept off your feet makes your heart beat furiously. Romantic gestures such as love, heart, shiver, shiverly, blah, blah, blah. shiverly, whatever. I, I can't say that shit. Pledges and chocolates make you giddy as you dreamed of living happily ever after. You are in love with love itself and the romance you yearn for is ready to blossom as you honor your true feelings and appreciate the beauty that's all around you. As you breathe in deeply, my sweet aroma, fill your heart's center swirl with sensual pleasure as it makes room for love in your life. I'll magnetize your aura to draw in all you seek on your quest for romance as you work with my petals and buzz to cast spells of armor and create love potions. Place a bouquet of my red and pink flowers in your bedroom to incite intimacy and delight as the heady, heady heights of romance court you. For your, it says recommended recipe for a cream. It says for face, body, hands. Take one half cup of olive oil and one half cup of coconut oil and add one fourth cup of beeswax pellets. And two tables, add two tablespoons of shea butter and one teaspoon of vitamin E oil. Melt all the ingredients together. Once melted, add 15 to 20 drops of rose oil. Pour into small jars, placing rose petals on top of the mixture. Let's sit overnight and re refrigerate. Refrigerate? I think I said that right. <laughs> rose revealed. It says in the 8th century BC, rose oil was mentioned in the epic poem, the Lil Lilad, or Lilad, or whatever. Iliad, or whatever. Homer speaks of Hector's body being anointed with rose oil after his death at Achilles hand. Aphrodite shed her blood onto a white rose to dye it red, representing her desire and passion. The creation of the rose is normally attri attributed to Flora, goddess of spring and flowers. Hmm. Let's read Astaria. Let's see incubation. Some of y'all are trying to manifest a baby. I feel like it's coming. Congrats in advance. <laughs> Congrats in advance, child. But let's see. It could mean obviously something different. Something is getting ready to be birthed here. <laughs> it says, what's the hurry? Why the gloom? Your seed is safe within her womb. Await and trust now is the key for life will bloom most readily. This magic is work with harm to none. So mote it be, there it is done. Like the sun rising at spring equinox, Astaria's promise of new beginnings and fertility is on the horizon. Everything is in place to make real your desires. But first you must allow all things to unfold naturally. The seeds planted at in bulk need time to nurture deep within the earth. And even though these seedlings may now be appearing, you are yet to witness them grow into full bloom. So have patience as this is a time of incubation for the development of any projects, wishes, spells, and dreams you have breathed in energy into. Everything is simmering under the surface and the timing is perfect to bring the best results. That which you cannot see needs to take place first in the background. So don't try to speed up the process. Just wait, trust and allow the natural order of things to take place. Your patience will pay off, which is foresight. What you wish for will come about soon. There, there are underlying factors that need to be considered before completion. A new project is about to take off. Allow your dreams to unfold naturally without forcing the issue. You have a reason to feel excited. New beginnings await. Yes. Astara revealed. This is a time of balance between light and dark, a time of renewal and rebirth of life. The vernal equinox calls to our youthful spirit to come out of hibernation and awaken to the lengthening of days. In pagan times, eggs were given as gifts to family and friends for blessings and abundance. It is a time to celebrate celebrate growth and new life. Wow. I love it. Oh, wrong book. Let me see. <clears throat> <clears throat> Page 40. 
coriander immortality don't back down you're flying high the only limit now is the sky longevity of each endeavor eat of me and live forever this this magic is work with harm to none so mode it be there it is done it says you seem to be indestructible you have allowed nothing to stand in your way and have laughed in the face of many obstacles and challenges yeah with invasive blackberry somebody's trying to in, invade your like pri i think uh pisces had that too and <clears throat> somebody's trying to invade your privacy or get into your energy in some way but it says good news relates to a project you are working on and it will have the impact you've been hoping for in fact your efforts will be acknowledged for quite some time as you make your mark in the world to achieving everlasting success don't give in to your fears of change instead add me to your diet so that i can enhance your mental so that i can enhance your mental alertness and spiritual motivation while it's your body achieves optimum health and longevity i can also aid you with affairs of the heart you can be sure of long lasting and meaningful relationships when you add 19 of my seeds in powder form to red wine and drink the concoction with your beloved under a new moon Ooh, the new moon is coming <laughs> wow Recommended recipe, it says detox juice for fatigue, detoxing, mouth ulcers, and blood sugar. Take a handful of fresh coriander leaves, chop them up, add them to a pan of spring or filter water, and let them boil for 10 minutes. Remove and strain the leaves so only the juices is left. Leave to cool. If you wish, add lemon and salt. Mix well, drink or gargle as necessary. Coriander reveal. Coriander is native to Iran, but traveled far and wide in ancient times to a pre-pottery Neolithic cave in Israel. Coriander mericarps have been discovered in Tutankhamun's Tutan Tutan whatever tomb as well. Coriander is known as one of the oldest spices and herbs on record and can be found in Vedic Sanskrit writings from India. Hmm. <clears throat> okay Kathy I like this reading I like this reading for you like definitely a lot of earth so Taurus Virgo Capricorn child go watch Taurus <laughs> mm -mm. let's see what else give me a card here for Kathy number 16 solar calm clarify Number 36, Midhaven, Pinnacle. Hmm. Number 47, Ninth House, Exploration. So Sagittarius, you can have a lot of Ninth House placements in your chart. Sixth House, Sustainability. Transits, Climate. Juno, Partnership, yes. <laughs> right under the Ninth House, oh my God. And Moon Coli, Roots. Let's see. Something about a partnership is very significant. <laughs> like very Midhaven, Midheaven. Okay, Midhaven, I think it's called. Let's read Juno. I love love, y'all. I'm sorry. I know I'm mushy. My friend be calling me mushy. <laughs> but I like I like love. So it says the asteroid Juno points out how you may have trained how you may have been trained to choose between love and work and offers clues on how to balance them instead this asteroid was named after the daughter of saturn wife of jupiter mother of mars she is queen to the organizer of society and she rules the roost juno and jupiter modeled an easy and uneasy but equal partnership that took a lot of work and had great rewards you and this person are probably going to explore the world together y'all have very significant ninth house placements maybe you and this person i don't know if you checked this person's chart yet or what but maybe you need to it says for your action it says in work and love juno wants you to trust that you can hold steady on your life's path and develop equal partnerships so get in there and wrestle to make the relationship work research healthy relationship skills and study negotiation and mediation techniques practice respect communication love and conflict resolution between the various facets of your own personality like Juno and Jupiter, strive to become two whole empowered souls who can express their individual potential, work around each other's foibles, and find balance. Be responsible for your own connection to the creative source, spirit, and your emotions. Don't ask another to carry your heart for you as it makes it hard to accept their unique path. Live out your ambition through your own work rather than through your mate, children, employees, or co-workers. 
if you do so, you can encourage others' growth and exploration. Okay, that came out along with your own and so create the foundations of great relationships and a sense of community. If you don't, you can devolve into jealousy or create monsters. If you want to be in a partnership but are not, examine any belief or training that said you have to give up what matters to you in order to partner up. If it's your choice to work alone, accept it. If not, expand that view and invite fresh possibilities. Yeah, I feel like something is worth expanding. It says for your challenge, if you live out your ambition through your make or work partner instead of through your own efforts, the situation can devolve into jealousy, manipulation, or disempowering micromanaging. Hmm. Yeah, then we have gift. True partnership is a spiritual path. Its sacred acts are the practice of healthy relationship skills. These skills begin within. Wow, I like it. I like it. I like it. Let's see. Then I'm going to get off here, y'all. <laughs> Let's read about the Midhaven. It says the Midhaven contains clues about how your family trains you to be visible in the world, your relationship to other people's authority, and how you step into your own personal authority. It describes the future mountaintop, the pinnacle of your work in the world. The Midhaven is the highest point of the chart where the sun would be at midday. This most public visible point of the chart acts like the flagpole on top of your personal castle. For your action, it says inventory your professional reputation and ask what you can do to strengthen it. Update your website, look at your definition of success and make sure it's in your own. Actually, make sure it is your own actually makes you happy and is not one you have inherited from your family or mentors. Think about the training you receive from the authorities and notice where it still serves you and where you need to release their preconceptions and step into something bigger. You may need to go back to hidden dreams or reawaken an ambition that may not make sense to anybody else. If you choose not to seek your sense of accomplishment as reflected in the outside world, your midhaven can speak of a quieter sense of personal authority. This is your life. Define the mountaintop for yourself. Take a next step in that direction. For your challenge, it says traditions, other people's expectations, or your family history may be complementary to your idea of your own potential, or they may be hurdles to overcome as you find your true path. And it says for your gift, Underneath all worldly sense of ambition is a soul's longing to live out its potential. Listen to the call. I feel like that's what you, when you meet this person, they're going to be kind of like a little lost. <clears throat> okay, but you're going to be able to, with solar calm here, clarify, you're going to be able to clarify what's going to help you uh, sustain the relationship. What's going to help it grow. You're going to, this is a nice partnership, Capricorn. What the fuck? <laughs> like, this is going to be really nice. Let's see. Let me see some real quick. What, what's, um, then I'm going to go. I'm so serious. What's the Juno partnership? You and this person could be very, like, adventurous. Yeah, Libra. So this person could have Libra somewhere in their chart balance things are going to be very fair this this could be some sort of karmic justice too 12th house introspection that's pisces ascendance yeah entrance mm-hmm hmm. what's what's the um ninth house exploration so I have a Libra rising, a Pisces rising. What's ninth house exploration? Venus. Yeah, look, child. Tell me you do. <laughs> I don't know. This is so nice. Yeah, nurture. Yeah, Jupiter abundance. Venus beloved. Taurus Libra. Somebody. Yeah, because I know I have a Taurus sun and moon. They're both in the ninth house. <laughs> okay, I have ninth houses everywhere in my chart. Oh, child, that's why. Listen, this resonates, child. Shit, I'm claiming. <laughs> yeah, Saturn structure, Capricorn. Okay, check where, maybe check where Capricorn is in your chart. That's why I watch all my signs. Like, yeah, South Node, the past. So I feel like this relationship is going to help you look at uh whatever was teaching you, whoever taught you certain things, whatever has been passed down through your bloodline, your lineage. You're going to be able to review that. And we're in retrograde. Something about your love life. This person could be a Sagittarius. 
Wow. What's uh definitely yeah, something from your south node is gonna come up so that way you can you can have some sort of structure or discipline or your learning structure and discipline around your love life or something like that. Or something. What's uh the Midhaven Pinnacle? Mercury messages. So somebody here could be a messenger. That could be what you do for work. Sagittarius, there it is. Nine, number nine, expand. Chiron, heal. Square, semi-square, tension. Mm. Bottom of the deck is Neptune, vision. That's Pisces. Fifth house, passion. Yeah, somebody's very creative. Her, Vesta, opposition, confrontation, 10th house, authority. That's Capricorn. Very interesting. I like this for you. I really fucking do. <laughs> Capricorn, I don't know. I love those astro cards. I'm about to start studying them hoes more. But I, I love them. I, I like this for you. This looks so nice. Keep working on this. Whatever this is, you gonna you gonna feel it when it comes in. You are gonna feel it when it comes in here, for sure. You and this person have a very strong connection. Ooh wee! But anyways, this is your reading copy. I hope it resonated. Like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you guys don't miss any of my readings. And I'll talk to you all later. Bye.